Well, I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> You're kicking it off, but I say I a hi no, first. I'm supposed to do that, and I do the first thing, and then it goes to you. No, hi, I'm Callie Lewis. Okay, go ahead. That's how we always do it. Go Is for it. Is it not? Do it. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. On today's Geek Beat Live, Google's Apple TV killer. 3D printing will give you cancer. The world's fastest mobility scooter. Flying drones delivering burgers. Yummy. And the UK. It's now a communist state. And it all begins now. No, playing I'm, with all those gadgets you've got over there? No, I'm distracted. I mean, we need one tablet for our run sheet, for our uh, story list. I'm sorry, I think and you I mean- And I needed this, my new phone. I think you mean you need one tablet. You do have a new phone. What have you got there? I've, so I've been using the uh, Galaxy S4 in my hands It's got right a now. very fancy case on it. Yes. It's so a very I, fancy I case. I am switching to this at least over the weekend, maybe possibly longer. We'll see. I don't um, think she can do it for much longer. So the first thing uh -huh. that I, I, so I got it all set up and I started using it within 20 minutes. I started freaking out because I wanted to go write a note to myself and I reached for the S Pen because as you guys know, I use the Note 2. And there was no S Pen! So she can't make notes, like jot notes like it was a of course, writing tablet. Of course, I didn't expect there to be because that's not what the S4 is about. But you're just in that I'm habit. in that habit and um, I'm missing it already. But it is a great little device so far. What have you got you over there? That. I've got a lot of junk. I have the brand new Samsung Tab. Three. Yeah, this was supposed to be something I tested, but somehow we went away last episode and I didn't have it in my hands and I didn't know where it was. Actually, I didn't know where it was. Well, in all fairness, I'm the one who requested that Samsung S4 and before, hey, I, before I even got you here. You show up to work earlier, you might get your hands on some stuff. <laughs> Everybody... Everybody knows I'm the tablet guy, okay? So Yeah, that's true. So I don't, don't, I don't actually use tablets. use tablets. I don't like tablets anymore just because of the uh, Note 2, so, it's so I was funny fine with it. Because honestly, I mean, I know right now I've got like four tablets sitting here in front of me, yeah. but I do literally use at least two tablets a day. I will I will use this iPad mini yeah. and one of these Android tablets every single day I use them. Yeah, I, I love and tablets. I just don't. And I, I'm, I'm a computer and a phone person. The thing is, if you guys don't have a tablet yet, I am telling you right now, 80% of what you do on your computer, you can do oh, yeah, totally. on a tablet. Yeah. So you should really, really consider Except getting Except for have one. five monitors and multitask yeah, like crazy and like, have Twitter over here and Like you, know, you and, compu and uh, Curly over, over there. Here. Yeah, so but if you've seen my desk set up. Y'all are going to get radiation and die. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'll be carrying my well, little tablets. you know, you're older than me anyway, so we'll probably even out. Right, I do have some other gadgets. Now this one I'm kind of looking forward to. I want to try this out this Goal weekend. Goal zero. We just I, got it. I did it. not see this come in. I know. Did you, did you unbox something without me? I did. It's the Goal Zero. This is kind of like early unboxing. Goal Zero Nomad 7. Look at that. It's a solar charging Nice. Panel. It's a solar charger. Okay. And it outputs uh, to like a USB thing. It's got a little zippered pouch back here. And there's a battery in it. Okay. Yeah. And the, it's actually a charger thing that you can charge that. You charge this. And this has AA batteries in it. Wait, so I'm missing something. You put your tablet in here? What I'm telling you is you leave that in the sun. You plug it into this thing. Oh, oh, oh. It ooh, charges ooh, yes. these batteries. Got okay? it. Okay, now you can have either AA rechargeable batteries that you can put in something, uh -huh. or on the bottom of this, it's got an output so you can plug something USB into it and charge it off these batteries, yeah. like your phone. Very cool. That's pretty cool. So we're so, going to give that a try? And then this I ordered from my house. Okay. This is the Amped Wireless RTA15. This is a brand new. I mean, I got one of the very first ones shipped. Cool. 
And the thing that's cool about it is it uses AC. That's the new Wi-Fi uh -huh. band. And uh, this one has like four different friggin' amplifiers in it. It puts out like Have seven. Have you tried it yet? Seven. It's not even open. It oh. puts out 700 milliwatts of power. Nice. Which is like five times as much power as your regular Wi-Fi hotspot. So what I'm going to try and do, and we'll see if it works. I've got three routers at my house. Yeah. Because our house is really big. It's really long. Brag, why don't you? It's really... It's I, huge! Did, did I mention that Chuck Norris is my neighbor? <laughs> Not anymore, right? He sold his house. He didn't sell it, but oh, it, Chuck okay. Norris's house is for sale. Do a, do a search on uh, on Google for Chuck Norris's house for sale. He's literally my neighbor. He lives across the street from me. You can see the pictures oh, so inside his house. so you're telling people how to stalk you. Great. So while I have a conversation with him about what not to say on camera, we're going to go to commercial break and we'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. We are having a good time with the chat room in between during commercial breaks. During the commercial breaks, we were talking about Callie's guns. Uh, why do you keep talking about that? Well, Digital right, Phil so said Callie's gonna... cannons. Yeah. Not just your guns, you Woo! got cannons. Anyway, okay, <laughs> so we're going to actually talk about some news. Uh, that's something that matters. Maybe. I wish you guys could see the camera the other way because Ken is sitting there like this. Oh, this is oh, a horrible brother. show. <laughs> okay, it's time for news. Ready. So, you want to take this one? Oh. It's ranting time for John. Well, to all of my friends across the pond in the UK, good day, mates. <laughs> I am so sorry to hear that you guys have recently converted to communism. What do you mean by that, John? Well, <laughs> Prime Minister David Cameron announced that they are putting in a new plan to filter the internet. What? They are going to... That's what China does. They are going to have the Great Firewall of the UK now. And it's imported from China to make things even better. <laughs> I am not kidding. I am, You guys think I'm kidding? Wait, I am... Look. Friggin' serious. What do you mean it's imported? I mean the U the British government is bringing in Huawei. Is that how you pronounce I it? I think so. And they have close ties to the Chinese government. They are instituting mandatory internet filtering for every citizen in the UK. Okay, is they, this actually going to happen? Yes. Or is it they are uh, going, just an idea? Yes. They are going to <laughs> filter all that filthy porn out of your internet. And what about people not who only make that, a living doing that? Well, you're out of business. Not only are you not going to be able to get porn anymore, but they're also saying, oh, well, after we get that going, then we'll be able to filter out other things that you definitely shouldn't see. Things like, oh, Violence? anything having to do with dating. Yes, you should not have access to no dating weapons. sites. Alcohol, drugs, file sharing? No, you shouldn't be able to file share under any circumstances. Gambling? Forget it. Wow. Games? Who needs to waste their time with games or social games? networking? Wait, they're just talking at this point. Social about that networking. Stuff. What? S suicide or self kind of harm right. websites. You're losing it all, people. So, all right, okay, so welcome let's, to China Junior. That is horrible. Um, but let's back up for a little bit because I, it doesn't sound like that is actually going to happen on this scale. Like, hey John, it's not actually going to get to that point, really? right? John, you don't think so? I'm just hey, asking. Okay, there was there's Hong Kong, right? Uh. So, so Britain leased Hong Kong from China and then. Turned it back over to them, and now China is coming over to the UK. Yeah, I don't know what to, there's some kind of freaky linkage between all this. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know, but all I know is, to you, my friends across the pond, you need to do something about your government. It's out of control, my friends. The all last right, time we did something about that was about 225 years ago. All right, so you guys... <laughs> Keep us surprised of the situation over there. Let us know what's going on. On to happier topics. Uh, oh, yes. Google. 
and uh, had a big announcement this week. They did. Uh, they had where a press they conference. Announced a new tablet. You're excited about that? The Nexus Seven. That's right. The Nexus Seven actually looks pretty cool. It's going to have yep. the 1920 by 1200 full HD. Yeah, screen with 323 pixels per inch, yep. which puts it on par with the uh, Retina display. And then also that tablet will be running Jelly Bean 4.3. That's right. Which is the newest Android version. They're going to add a few things. Yeah. Like one of the things they're going to add, which I think is really cool, is restricted like user profiles. That's really the main thing that's coming out of this. So I like you could, it. You could always have like different user profiles. Well, not always, but for a while. But this is restricted, so you can definitely keep your kids. Um, like the so UK that means, is doing. That means, um, you, that can, means <laughs> you can make sure your kids don't watch porn. So that means if I have if I have this tablet and I'm looking at all kinds of porn on it, right. and then you want to borrow the tablet, I can, can switch, switch it over. so you can then have your own profile and not be messing with all my porn favorite favorites. Correct. And then, of okay. course, the biggest uh, thing that to come out of the Google announcement was Chromecast. Chromecast is a little dongle hdmi dongle that just plugs right into your tv i like to say dongle. and i know <laughs> and gives you the ability to stream basically all sorts of internet content like netflix and a br anything anything on a chrome browser essentially so it's cross-platform but this is not like apple tv no. because apple tv is a standalone device you access it just using a remote control however yep. with the chromecast what you do is you're using your tablet or your phone to select something like yeah. a movie. Let, let's say I look up Netflix on my, on my tablet. I find a movie I want to watch. I say, play this on the Chromecast in the living room. Then what happens is the Chromecast opens a direct connection to Netflix and, and streams that directly from there. Meanwhile, I can move on to do other things on my tablet. Correct. So it's kind of offloading some of the download processing stuff to that little device. It's only 35 bucks. Yeah, which is the big deal here. So it we ordered came a handful. With, it came with three months of free Netflix. But if you didn't already order it, sorry, you don't, you don't get, get that anymore. anymore because that was due to limited supplies for the. And not that Netflix actually has supplies, but you know what I mean. Um, After <laughs> we, one day, they shut that off. Yeah. But, and they also sold to, out. Uh, they sold out of all the Chromecasts. Geekbeat.tv slash live. What, Dave? 104. 104. 104 to get the links to the all the uh, information about that. Speaking of Netflix, uh -huh. um, three of their shows, of their um, oh, yeah. actual you know uh, produced shows, have been uh, awarded, or at least nominated, nominated for, for Emmys. 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 So House of Cards. Emmys. Emmys. Is that a new yeah. one? Uh, House of Cards. Uh, that what's the one that they brought Arrested back? That, Arrested, Arrested development. development. Where are my notes that I can't find this? Arrested anyway. Development and House of Cards and uh, what's the one yeah. about the uh, the the uh, creatures? Hemlock. The Hemlock I think Grove. It, yeah, Hemlock Grove. They got two oh, yeah. for special effects and soundtrack. And you know, you you mentioned um, this is cool because it's the first time any online type yeah. streaming shows have ever been an, uh, you know awarded or or nominated for an Emmy. Which the last time something non broadcast you know yeah. was was 15 years ago or something like that when it was HBO and it was Sopranos. That was the first time something I guess not Italians just broadcast. Italians like to break records. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and other things. <laughs> Netflix so. also added about 600,000 subs new subscribers because of all of that stuff that they were doing, although analysts thought they should have added right. 900,000, so analysts still aren't so happy. So really, it's, a, it's not so good, but they are maybe making up some progress for all those subscribers they lost a while back ago. Hey, all right, we, so we're out of time. we yes, got to go to commercial, but before we do, there's one thing that I want to... Dave, number five here, okay? I don't know. We don't have any assets for it, but here's the thing. Um, we told you guys, we talked a lot about PRISM and all this government spying junk in previous weeks. Well, a bunch of large companies like Google, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft got together and they went to the government and said, hey, we think you need to be providing more information. We want permission to provide more information about what you're requesting from us, blah, blah, blah. So 
you got to give it up for those companies that are fighting for transparency and freedom. Indeed. Okay, now. All right, now we have to uh, go to commercial break. But before we go, we want to hear from you on our top story of the day. Uh, th that stuff going on in the UK. What do what you, do you think, think about, about it? it? Leave us a fame spot. Go to geekbeat.tv slash fame spots. Hey folks, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I am John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. I hope you guys are having a great day today. We certainly are. I am having a good day. Yeah, it's a good day. It's uh, It rained a little this morning and it's bright and sunny right now. We got a whole pile of boxes over here to unbox stuff. And they all arrived today. Actually, because we had a bunch of other boxes, but we didn't do a show last That's week. That's right. And we couldn't so we went leave ahead the boxes. and just unboxed them anyway. Yeah, so we had to open some of them because <laughs> there were certain things that had to be opened. So. so we have lots and lots and lots of gadgety talk to talk Wait, about. Wait, stop. HQA what? Radio says watching you guys on a 32 inch TV with the Chromecast. Nice. I bet he went Already got to it. Uh, the store and Best Buy it up or, or something. something. They, they yeah. ran out fast, but. Whew. Cool. Mine will be here soon. Well, hopefully you like it. Let us know what you think. Okay, gadget stories. All right, so there is this pen that is on Kickstarter. Um, they want to go to the educational market and help kids learn how to write. Um, both in, in two ways. One, they um, it'll kind of buzz at you if you make a spelling mistake. Just and what I need. It'll be buzzing at me two, all the time. It'll buzz at you if you do a like a letter. No, not not oh, okay. grammatical. I don't think it could possibly tell you if you're grammatically incorrect. But it will if you if your form is incorrect. So as kids oh. are learning to do cursive or just to write letters in general. Like if you write a letter, if you're trying to write an and it's A illegible. and it looks ridiculous, yes, it buzzes it'll at you. Tell you that. So pretty cool pen that's you know, on Kickstarter. Now here's the thing. I it's, would. I would support that if it had one modification. What? It zaps you? Yes. Okay. It should shock you if you do it wrong. <laughs> well, maybe the, the creators didn't want it to shock you because their own, uh, the name of it is Lernstift. Lernstift. They're German. Learn stiff. No, it is actually. It's a team out of my Munich. First, my first thought was, is it going to uh, buzz at you if you write that word? Yeah. But it is German, and it will actually tell you. Um, it'll it'll understand English and German when it launches, which is pretty cool. Learn stiff. So let's take a look. It'll actually tell us what's inside if we want to listen to that for a second. It's all in the pen. Lernstift has built-in Wi-Fi, allowing it to connect to PCs and smartphones and to communicate with other pens in a network. Not to mention social media sharing, Lernstift to Lernstift gaming, and more. An exchangeable refill is placed in front of the pen, and the battery sits in the back. And then there's a the switch. What's that for again? All right, so the switch well, I already described to you, so that is pretty cool. I, you gotta love I their German it. accents. I know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> they see it's actually a really well done video. They obviously yeah. uh, have some experience or had some help, um, but it, if you are interested in uh, Kickstarter, ends on August 9th. Look it up, learn stift. Now this one is really cool. Or I or there'll be a link right down here, Dave. Geekbeat.tv slash live one oh four. Bam. I love I it when you can it. do that. I get a high five for that. High five. Yay. <laughs> I'm excited about the next one. <laughs> yes, me too. Because you I'm know so I love excited metal. About this one. Yes. And 3D printing is pretty cool. It's way more than pretty cool. But 3D printing metal, now we're talking. So one of the, the things about 3D printing has traditionally been, you know, we have to deal with plastics, right? But if you can do it in other types of material, way more possibilities open up to you. Yeah. Now, this isn't the greatest thing in the universe because it's using some fairly exotic metals, but a team of North Carolina uh, State has created a process that uses an alloy made of gallium and indium and uh, it's stored in a liquid state, but as soon as it, the print, it prints and it hits the air, bam, it turns solid. And so this whole video, you're going to want to follow the link at geeky.tv slash 104. Um, is, I'm sorry, live 104. Live 104 uh, is really cool to watch the whole thing because as you, you know, expand, you can, you can set the... Uh, the size of the bead that you're trying to do for whatever you're trying to accomplish. It's like they're building a little Eiffel Tower. It's so 
really, really cool. I cannot wait. Or a little guy. Until I could uh, get my hands on this. It's pretty anyway. cool, but so the thing is, it's nice because it's printing out of metal, but it's not printing like, it's not making, like printing a key out of some hard metal material that no. you can actually, but you know, they actually do make powdered steel. Yeah. And they use pressure mm -hmm. to essentially weld powdered steel into forms. Like this is a commercial process. Yeah. I can't wait until they figure out a way that we can dump a bucket of powdered steel into a machine right. It lays it out and welds it in place. That would be awesome. Yes, that would be cool. Okay. This, has, this has way, you know, way more possibilities to move towards in the future, but it's also at a start, this way is more, cool. Way more possibilities to poison you. That is true. Uh, new research from Brent Stevens at the uh, Illinois Institute of Technology, he says, 3D printing at home can give you cancer. It's killing you oh, people. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, basically what he's saying, what he tested it and. Um, they used five different models. They're not saying which uh, 3D printers they used, but they did kind of name MakerBot uh -huh. and one other. <laughs> what they're saying is that the kind of uh, material that, that is emitted mm -hmm. during the printing process is roughly the equivalent to like laser printers and other things. It's really tiny particulate matter, yeah. but there's a lot of it and you're breathing it in. And in commercial environments where they do printing and stuff, they use ventilation and they have OSHA regulations. Exactly. And at home, you'd basically put one of these little death boxes in your, uh, in your office and so then sit there and print all day and just breathe in the fumes. It's like smoke plastic. So before 3D <sighs> printing even made its mark in the world, it's coming to an end. Or will it? I love it? the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> Just use it in a well-ventilated area. How about that? How much time do we have, Ken? We have time for this next story, okay. for sure. Okay, so also researchers at the uh, University of California at Berkeley are creating a new sensitive skin. So we've seen little bits of this here and there in, in research, but basically it's pressure sensitive, and you'll be able to see what I mean by that here. Um, but you can... It, it, so as he's touching it, you know, as he's putting pressure behind there, it's lighting up. And the harder you press, the harder or the more it'll light up. And so this could be used in a variety of different applications, like robotics. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, so how this about would mean a that the robots will be able to touch us and they'll be able to sense us better before they kill us and eat our brains. They'll be able to sense us better. Perhaps we could touch them and give cues that way as well. I mean, it could go either way. So that way, if I tap a robot on the shoulder, yes, he could turn around and punch me. Exactly. Uh, or could do something useful. But it could also <laughs> be used in like um, wallpapers, for example. You know, if touch sensitive touch wallpapers. Touch sensitive wallpapers. Bandages Ooh, a light with switch. health. Uh, benefits. How about totally flat light switches and you just exactly. tap it, bang, the light switch exactly. turns on. Exactly. So That'd be kind of cool. Pretty cool uh, oh, we're out of time. ideas there. Yeah. So okay. we're going to go to commercial break and then um, let these guys yell at us. But before we, we go, do not forget, you need to go to geekbeat.tv forward slash fame spot and you need to spout off about what you think about the UK putting a humongous ban on the entire damned internet. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. You know, John, um, JTAW's in the chat room uh -huh. uh, said that I robotized that last segment. I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't say that while we were that is true. doing you the segment. You, I'm surprised you didn't get all upset at me. You did. I, 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 but, I mean, you didn't completely hijack it with robots. <laughs> so I let you I, I get away a other, little bit with it. I provided other use cases. Yeah, you did. You did. So it was okay. <laughs> now it's time for science, which Yay. is Callie's second favorite section of the day. I of like the show. science. It's fun. I know you do like science. I like science when it involves combustion. I know you do. We have the proof to show on the patio. We, we do. That'll go away eventually. I'm almost I'm not almost not certain of it. Sure yeah, job. We were we were asked not to do that again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they came in and yeah. Well, anyway, uh, speaking of things that are really really flaming hot, 
astronauts, uh, uh, not astronauts, uh, but astronauts ast- did George Takei. Ast- George Takei. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's guys. flaming, flaming hot, and he likes it that way, and I like him. Uh, astronomers figured out that a planet that they once thought was red is actually blue, which is Does like, it hold avatars? No, it does not. In fact, we would love to find a blue planet because it might be one we could inhabit one day. However, this one we might not want to visit. Why not? It looks inhabitable. It looks... It looks habitable, I mean. It does, except Whatever. for the fact that you see it is very, very close to that star. That is the flames you know, from a you star. You can't tell anything from a picture like that. Well, here's what we can tell. That planet is 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit okay. on the surface with wind speeds of 4,500 miles per hour. Oh, we can totally handle that. And essentially the reason why it's blue is because it's full, the silica in the planet has essentially turned to blue glass floating around in the atmosphere. That is cool. I I say that instead of a mission to Mars, that whole thing we were talking about a few weeks ago, Uh I think they ought to revamp their organization. Go over there? And go there instead. Okay. Right. How could that not be cooler than Mars? I don't know, but one problem you could have if you were traveling through space for a long journey, you could get cancer. Well, you could get cancer by 3D printing. You could do that too, but luckily scientists have now figured out a way to solve cancer with little microscopic sponges. And these sponges are actually found in like the shells of crab and like lobster, right? No, shrimp and crabs. That's right. It's they make these things from Very the interesting. Chitosin. I'm Ch- glad you said that. Chitosin, which is found in the shells of the shrimps and the crabs. So basically it would contract like what would they do with this? They would it would um, they would put it in your body and then it would expand and contract as needed to deliver insulin. Well, so for people, yeah, like you know, the, I don't know how they're going to solve cancer issues with it yet. But if you have uh, what's it called where you need insulin? Um, diabetes. Diabetes. If you have diabetes, what you have to do is you have to constantly be taking insulin shots, which is a pain in the butt for people with diabetes. So what they do. You're pain in the arm. Maybe they take them in the butt. I don't know, but it's a pain for people with diabetes. So what they do is they take the insulin, they wrap it in this spongy chitosin, chitosin stuff, and somehow it detects when it's needed and releases the insulin. And so they've injected people with it, and the people... It lasts for like two days. They only have to get shots every couple days instead of like several times a day. So if you have diabetes, you might be really interested in that. Yeah. Go stock up on shellfish. I mean, maybe you could just eat a bunch of that. Especially if you're allergic to shellfish because that'll go well. Maybe you could take a shellfish insulin salad and it might do the same thing. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Okay, people? <laughs> don't take his medical advice. That's, that's please. World War C happened, right. That's right. Okay. I haven't seen that movie yet. We're out of time for the science section. Okay. However, you know, we do occasionally have a little section we like to call Hacks, Hacks. and Cheats. Yes. This is a very interesting one. So, um, a bine, I think is how you say it. A bine. Um, I don't anyway, know how to say it. They. Um, but you can get there by going to maskme.com. Okay. And they, basically, maskme is a browser extension that they promise will hide your credit card information, address, and all your personal information from hackers. From anybody. From anybody trying to gain access to it. So Here's how you, it works. Let me explain this. Yes. You know how you can get a Google number? Yes. You've got your own cell phone and you've got your own home phone number, Correct. but you get a Google number and what happens is people call that number, it routes the call to your number. Right, and they have no clue what your phone number is. They really don't know is. your real phone number. This service kind of does that for credit cards. Yeah. You give this service your credit card number, then the service gives you disposable credit card numbers that you can give to your various vendors online, when they bill it, it goes through them and it actually clears because it goes through them and gets onto your credit card, but they never have your real credit card. And if somebody stole that credit card number from that, from that 
service provider, they couldn't use it anywhere else. So what do you think as a security expert that you are, according to ABC, right. um, what do you think about this uh, as I a think, possibility for the future? A, <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. B, I think it'd be funny as hell if Mask Me was actually run by hackers. <laughs> that would be awesome. That okay, it's time to take a commercial break. All right, you guys come back. Go enjoy a Sprite or something. But for the love of God, leave us a fame spot. We want to know exactly, I'm going to take this so you don't hyperventilate, what you think of everything going on in the UK in terms of the government issuing that... Um, Filtering the whole shoot. damn internet, people. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a specific word. All right, just go to give me a touch if you slow things. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm Callie. I'm John P. You, you busy uh, organizing your nope. iPad over there? No, nope, I was not in it. I was not by any means deleting all kinds of uh -huh. applications off of my iPad. <laughs> Somehow we got into uh, talking about Indian leg wrestling during the commercial break. I'm not sure how that happened. Yeah, I don't either. But uh, anyway, we're going to move on to a robot. Oh, Dave Curley brought it up. That could totally win because at Indian leg wrestling. the folks in the chat re room wanted you and I to arm wrestle. Oh, right. And then Dave said we should Indian leg wrestle. Right. And you said, I don't know what Indian leg wrestling is. We should. Night. The Company Indian League. leg wrestling league. Yeah. <laughs> the IWL. IWL. Do you need the pen to help and, you and it's spell? Tuesday night, IWL Raw. <laughs> That's what we need. I'm going to start that. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, Ken's already okay, telling me we're running are, out of we're time. We're already running out of time, so I'm going to move on to this robot because oh, okay. it, if, I, if I can put it in the league, I Go will ahead. totally enter. Show me. Um, you guys have seen me talking about Petman, right? So, um, Pet Man was that big Doesn't robot. It walk? It's a that walking walks. robot. Yes, and it was Terminator tethered. style. Terminator style, right? This was yeah. Pet Man yeah, that that's I told Pet you Man. about. Yeah, well, yeah. Boston Dynamics has um, created a new one based on that, but it's even more, it's even better. It's called Atlas. This is Atlas. Um, and so now he can chase six, you upstairs. It is six And two, you can't knock him over. He weighs 330 pounds. Uh, it'll. Basically, the idea with this one is um, to go into danger zones like, hey, Fukushima, you know, or something like that where humans literally can't go, but it could go and take care of people or deal with dangers, whatever. So in this case, because it's part of the DARPA challenge, it would have to drive a car. It'll have to walk up steps, operate machinery. You'll have to navigate all sorts of different terrain. So you really believe that this thing is just built to help humans? It is built to help us in How can you even areas. Look, look at, at that? him go. How can you even look at that and not and see Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, you do. But you, you see, um, like, it has, this Atlas one has eyes now, whereas Pet Man didn't. <laughs> It can find us, it can climb stairs to chase us, and okay. it weighs 300 pounds, and it will crush you in half in an Indian leg wrestling contest. It definitely will. So, here's one that's a little lighter, a little uh, more along Gord the says, style. Gord says, it's clearly designed with only the betterment of humanity in mind. Of course it is. Sure. <laughs> how, how about this yeah. one? You like drones, right? Flying drones. I do like you drones. You like flying drones. Okay, so a company in the UK, a restaurant called Yo Burgers. Well, hang on. I like quadcopters, which I control. I don't really like drones, which are automatically robotically controlled. But go ahead. <laughs> well, a restaurant is um, putting out a new food, a new burger that's really light and uh, you know, I, I guess it's like light calorie wise uh -huh. and everything. So they were trying to figure out how could we demonstrate this visually. Uh -huh. So they decided to start delivering their hamburgers instead of by servers, by drones. Oh. Take a look at this video. So she she's actually controlling it, but I think that that's just for demo purposes. From my understanding, it can be controlled like from the back. Um, and then uh, it'll travel up to 25 miles per hour. Not that you need to be traveling that fast with a burger on top yeah, of it. Chasing you down the street. <laughs> <laughs> your burger. You forgot your <laughs> hey, you forgot your takeout. 
<laughs> it's gonna be hilarious when she spills that freaking I know, burger and fries I know. all over somebody, or what like about the blades. Yeah, the rotor I chops know. off somebody's freaking. <laughs> yeah, cuts somebody's wrist and they're bleed to death on the street. I thought you, know? you would like that one. That's yeah. I wanted ketchup, not blood, with my burger. Okay, so you don't like the drones that can talk, can can monitor you and are no, all autonomous. I do not. Well, maybe you ought to move to Deer Trail in Colorado uh -huh. because they are doing a symbolic gesture. Have they banned of, all robots? No, they have done even a step further and they are offering licenses for 25 bucks to men or people who want to shoot down those drones. Hunting licenses. <laughs> Hunting I licenses. I love this drones. idea. Um, I so love it. They'll also offer you $100 if you bring one in with marked parts that are like government drone issued drones. <laughs> now, just to be clear, <laughs> this is highly illegal. That $100 <laughs> might not pay for your no, bail, but. Definitely not. That's really symbolic for their point of view saying we don't agree with these types of drones and this type of government surveillance. Paul Dixon wants to know, can the, <laughs> Can the drones fire back? Are the drones allowed to shoot back? Well, hey, you know, the, the whole point of this is that government, they're, they're not working together, so, you know, whatever the government is issuing, maybe they can. <laughs> Jay Bird says, how about if John just fixes them? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I like that. <sighs> I okay. like that one best of all, I that assume. That was the best of all. Yes. You hear the air quotes on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fixes <laughs> them. Nice. What okay. do you have for All us? right. Well, what I've got it is time for planes, trains, and automobiles. First off, we're Wait, gonna... before you go to trains, planes, and automobiles, one of our most loyal people, Digital Phil, uh -huh. requires a live mention because he hasn't gotten mentioned like everybody else. Digital Phil? I mentioned him like five times. During live? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Digital... There you digital go. Phil is my number one fan. If you guys want to join us, you can always join us in the chat room while we're live at geekbeat.tv slash live. Okay, now I wasn't done. On. I'm just trying to... I wasn't oh. done. And... <laughs> <laughs> I am Digital Phil's number one fan. Aww, I'm feeling the love. Okay, now it's time for Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. First up, for those of you who enjoy space exploration, but who were saddened by the fact that NASA discontinued the space shuttle program, yeah. even though we have nice collectible toys sitting around museums around the country now, <laughs> um, uh, you know, they... NASA has been looking for a new transporter to get people into space because yes. the Russians have been ferrying us up into space. Right. Who knew? And they didn't want that. Well, Boeing said, you know what? We'll just build a little thing that we like to call the CST-100. And it looks a little something like this. That's pretty darn awesome That looking. looks like a friggin' condo or something. I know. Okay. How What's, big is this thing? It's as, it's about like the size of an Apollo or a Gemini kind okay. of 1960s era rocket ship. And my understanding is they don't have, like, it's pretty well easy to manage and to man, right? They're doing a bunch of things. First of all, there's no welding on this spaceship. It's all spun welded. Um, it's like a... I want to see that a, in action. A, yeah, anyway, it's it's the way they make it is very uh, crazy, cool, high tech. And on top of that, they're going to fly it with tablets. Wow. That's right. You don't even like to use a tablet. They're going to fly the spaceship with a <laughs> tablet. They have not decided if it's going to be an iPad or an Android yet, but my bet is on Android. Okay. Well, so planes. that's... Planes and now use it tablets. Now uh, Boeing is NASA using tablets. Yeah, but tablets. the plane only uses a tablet for like planes. The pilots are only using it for like archiving Navigation documents. And and, no, oh. just documentation. I know. I thought they were no documentation. They were, oh. They're gonna fly these freaking things with them. Okay, they're replacing sixteen hundred buttons That's pretty darn awesome. with tablets. Maybe so. it'll go Windows eight. Now let me show you something even more awesome. The most awesome thing ever. Do you remember a few weeks back, I said that I wanted to build the world's fastest mobility scooter? Uh, no, you don't remember. You're always talking about wanting you to build the fastest whatever. So because no. you were not in the Geek Beat Live chat room at geekbeat.tv forward slash live. I've right been there, there a lot. Maybe I was not that there. Moment. I was talking with the guys. 
And in fact, I was talking with Digital Phil saying I wanted to build the world's fastest. Well, somebody in the UK beat me to it, even though their government won't allow the internet anymore. <laughs> and they built it this. Took that to a whole other level. They built this. Look. A car? No. Oh wait, that, there's the scooter, I see it, okay. That car is a Nissan Skyline GTS. Well, it's not, oh, there it goes. That is a scooter. What? That is one of those Lark scooter kind of things. But they happen to put a Suzuki GSX 600 <laughs> motorcycle engine in it. And that thing won that drag race at a top speed of 102 miles per hour. Nice. That person is a psychopath. <laughs> My hat's off to you, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, All we're right. going to take a break. So what do you think about UK tearing, taking down the internet? Leave Ge it to FameSpot. Geeky.tv forward slash FameSpot. We'll be right back. Hey, folks. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. Wow, you're talking fast? Like, are we in a hurry? I don't know. I just felt like doing it that way okay. this time. Because we do it so many times. This is show number 104, Dave. Whoops. Oh. Oh. You missed it. Oh, you missed there it. you oh. go. There you go. There you go. It's <laughs> show number 104. So if we take like three commercial breaks per show, yeah. that means we've done that 300 times. And we take more commercial breaks throughout the show. And we do. And so sometimes I just feel like doing it differently. I understand. But we only have five minutes so for unboxing. So let's get to it. And we have to do several. All right. You've already unboxed. You've taken this out of its Shh. box. You were supposed to just leave that. I can't because it does, it's not in a box. It's not in a box. I don't, I don't know where the box is. Okay. So this is the leap motion. You guys uh, know the the gesture control maybe they don't know uh, well i was going to okay. give them a little bit of information so okay let me show you what this is so leap motion it's this little device uh -huh. that you plug in via hdmi i'm sorry is it usb usb 3? usb 3 um and you plug it into your computer and it gives you gesture control for all of your computer usage so you can swipe with the hand you, and you can you know go forward and backward in pages do you, all sorts of stuff beyond that you put it down in front of your monitor and you go like this with your finger <laughs> literally you go like this with your or finger like in the air or you do this yeah. with both hands whatever you do a little bit of this <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this thing controls your computer. That's so we're going to be giving this a quick test and, and letting you know how it works, what we think of it, all that good stuff. Here, here's another box for you. Okay. Here's a box for you me. Go for it. I'm going to open this one. This is from our friend Peter Daring. Oh. This is the new, brand new oh. Capture Pro camera clip. I am excited about this. Oh, it even comes in a nice little bag. Very nice. What nice. does this do? Let me tell you. This clips onto uh, your belt. Yeah. Or strap. A strap on your um, your backpack or yeah. something. And what happens is, I, I gotta I gotta play with it a little bit here, but this attaches. It's just a, a hot shoe, quick mount plate thing for your camera. So let's say I had this attached to a strap on my right. backpack right here. I could take my camera and go like this and just snap, snap it, it right in. down onto there. And now my camera would be hanging here yeah. or hanging from my waist. Okay. Cool. So these are really like awesome. These are, this company is one of the most successfully funded companies on Kickstarter of all Time. Yeah, you were you were one of the early backers. Um, That's right. Look right down here. That's where you're going to get a link. I'm going to go do a full test products, on this. So that I looks, love them. That looks definitely um, improved. Improved in terms of manufacturing. Uh, yes. So I'm excited to see what, I am your, also what excited. you think about that. I'll play with it this weekend. Okay, Tell you guys so all about it. I got a couple things. This is from um, iSimple. Okay, so look at this. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. It's a simple, flat. It's a simple uh, audio cable, but it is flat. Let me show you exactly how flat. Yeah, that's uh, going to require a knife. Never mind. Um, it's flat. <laughs> so 
Anytime, like that, that is actually a new uh, theme in cables is the flat cable. But I've seen flat HDMI and stuff. Yeah. I have never seen a flat audio either. cable before. All right, so I'm actually excited about this. Okay, I have to tell you guys something. I don't have a lot of uh, technology in my car. Actually, I have none. I know that's a shocker. But um, you have power it's a two, yeah. Well, yes. Uh, I just mean like Bluetooth and all the the extra features, right? She's got GPS. She's got power, everything. But no, it's not much. Yeah, go ahead. I don't have like a whole. You lot. mean you don't have like anyway, the latest touch? The latest like stuff, uh, because it's an older car. But um, this is from is a, called BlueStream. It connects your phone to your car. Basically, it adds Bluetooth to your car oh. if you don't have Bluetooth in your car. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So it gets power from the cigarette lighter. Uh huh. And, and then, then I guess transfers. this is a button here that you push when you want to make a call or something. Oh, uh, oh, look! Here's the here's the button for your call. That's a microphone, maybe. Oh, maybe that's a microphone. Yeah, you're I'm right. I'm guessing this is the Bluetooth button, and that's a microphone. So this probably plugs into your headphone outlet or something. I don't know. There's a couple of plugs. You're going to have to figure this one out. I am. And anyway, do a full review excited. on that. excited. Okay. We're almost out of time, Ken, okay. or how are we doing? One more. Oh, oh okay. yeah. We're we out of time. we got to wrap it up. Well, we still have another box, so we're going to keep going. <laughs> okay. This box is full of goodies. Ooh. Okay. Here, you can take this one. Okay. And I'll take th these two. What do you got? Oh, uh, I have the JBL Soundfly Air. Okay. Let's open this up and see what it is. Plug in anywhere wireless speaker. It's got it on the side here. Look here. Oh, it yeah, shows yeah. you what it does. Hold it like this so you can take it out of the box while okay. we look at this. Speaker plus plug. Uh, connect with Bluetooth to the speaker and play. That's yes. what you do. The Bluetooth speaker. So how does it cool. look? Looks good so far here. <laughs> yeah, Norm wants me to kill people. <laughs> All right, so we've got the uh, power there. Is that upside down? Yeah. yeah, you got it upside down. Oh. Oh, there must be so another piece that plugs onto here. Here we go. There you go. I have that upside down. <laughs> Trying to do things. No, I have that right. Snap it in there. Man, this is some compelling TV. <laughs> I know. It's very compelling. Putting on the floor. Right. Anyway, gonna... you plug this into the wall and it sits like that and nice. broadcasts sound. Okay, cool. what else we have? We have the beautiful sound premium extended bass in ear headphones. Dibs. It's dibs. <laughs> No, I, like I know, I know, Ken. Ken, we're way over time, but Dave's gonna fix it in post. Dave's gonna fix it in post. Look at, look at Ken. I know. Look, look at that. Look at the stress. It's a nice looking case. Yes, it is. There so are lots these of. These are just blue. These let's are see here. Interesting about hard, these Harman Kardon earphones and the um, earbuds uh, are the uh, the rectangular shape to them. Yeah, the that square, is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they're square. As opposed to round like everything well, else. Well, I mean, they're round on the inside. Well, of course. And square on the Just outside. Kind of like Dave. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> All right, and we also have this oh, pair sorry. Of, yeah. uh, of headphones, noise canceling over the ear headphones. Yeah. But we're so far but out of time. We're going we're gonna... to go ahead and just show you the box. That's right. Look, <laughs> Harman Kardon sent these noise canceling headphones. We'll do a full review on them later. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't forget to follow in between uh, John P on Google Plus. Just go to uh, google.com slash plus John P. And google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. We'll see you guys next time. Have a Bye. good one guys. Bye.